Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Now let's provide a solution. Very quickly. Let's copy what we have. We have square root of 3x over x, which equals to a 5. Now here we have different ways or different methods that we can use just for solving this equation and the first step okay or we can say first method is this one we know that square root is it can be written as 3 x of course this is what we have and then because it is inside and it is a square root we can power them 1 over a 2 okay then over x to be equal to a 5 right then and this x has invisible power when you say invisible power is a number or is a variable which have power of 1 because most of the time the power of 1 is not written this will be 3 to the power of x then then 3x to the power of 1 over a 2 over x power 1 to be equal to 5 okay then this will be 3 times 3 over 1 power 1 over 2 times x okay power 1 over 2 or so then over x to be equal to a 5 right then this would provide a 3 power 1 over a 2 times x power 1 over a 2 over x power 1 to be equal to a 5 right then 3 power 1 over a 2 times x power 1 over 2 minus 1 will be equal to a 5 then 3 power 1 over a 2 times x power negative 1 over a 2 will be equal to a 5 then here we can we can say that we want to remove this negative we have okay or this power we have then here we can multiply a 2 multiply a 2 multiply a 2 on both sides okay now here we have a 3 okay then times this will provide uh, x power negative 2 over a 2 to be equal to 25 so that here x 3 times x which is got power negative 1 will be 25 and then because we want this x only we want to multiply negative 1 on both sides okay times the negative 1 times the negative 1 and times the negative power 1 okay this will provide 3 power negative 1 okay times x to be equal to 25 power negative 1 okay so that this would provide by dividing 3 okay 3 power negative 1 and 3 power negative 1 here this will provide x which equals to 25 power negative 1 over 3 power negative 1 okay now 
we know that x here will be 25 power negative 1 times a 3 okay power 1 because as we change the position to come and be numerator instead of being denominator okay now our x here will be 3 then over 25 and then this method shows that we have one solution which is x equals 3 over 25 okay now second step is this one our uh, second method okay here we have this one which is a uh, square root of 3x over x which equal to 5 here you can cross multiplication to get 3 square root of 3x which equal to 5 times x then square root of 3x to be equal to 5 now by squaring both sides because what what you do on one side you have to do it on another side this will provide 3x to be equal to 25x squared okay now this will be 3x minus 25x squared to be equal to 0 or this can be written as negative 25 x squared plus 3x which equal to a zero or by multiplying negative on both sides this will provide 25x squared minus 3x to be equal to zero now by factorization of x to get 25x minus 3 to be equal to to zero then x here to be zero or 25 x minus 3 will be equal to a zero then x will be a zero or 25 x is equal to 3 then by 25 by 25 here x would be 3 over 20 and here we have to know that since we have equation which looks like this one and we have x as the denominator at the, at the moment here if you have the solution that includes a zero this is zero must not be in a solution and then to mean that this will zero will be rejected and the solution will be this one and the method that we would like to use is this one because it's the method that can provide a real solution thanks for watching and don't forget to share and subscribe